Welcome to today's practice session on time and work for GATE 2026. We will go through some carefully chosen questions to help you master this topic quickly and effectively. Try solving them along with me and see how fast you can boost your problem solving skills. So let's get started. P can complete a work in 12 days and Q can complete the same work in 8 days. If they work together, how many days will the work be completed? It is given that P can complete a work in 12 days and Q in 8 days. So, work done per day. That is, work done by Q in 1 day. Work done by Q or P in 1 day is 1 by 12. Similarly, work done by Q in 1 day will be 1 by 8. So, when they are working together, work done by both P and Q in 1 day. Working together, the work completed per day will be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 8, which is equal to 8 plus 12 divided by 8 into 12. This is 20 divided by 8 into 12. 12. This is 4 5s are 20, 4 3s are 12, which is equal to 5 by 24. This is the work done per day. So, number of days, uh, in uh, how many days the work will be completed? Number of days to complete the work. Number of days to complete the work will be 24, that is the reciprocal, that is 24 by 8, which is 4.8 days. 10 men can finish a project in 12 days. How many extra men are needed to finish the same project in 8 days? He will, here we will use the concept of man day. This is man day concept. That is man into day is constant. Man into day is constant. Therefore, M1 D1 equal to M2 D2. Where M1 is 10. That is the men is 10. Days is 12. Which is equal to M2. Not given. M2 into D2 is 8 days. So, M2 can be found as 10 into 12 divided by 8. Which is 30 by 2 which is 15. So, previously the men was 10. Now, the men is 15. So, how many extra men are needed? So, extra men is needed is 15 minus 10. That is 5 men. X is twice as efficient as Y. If Y can complete a task in 30 days, find the time taken by them to finish the work together. The Y can complete a task in 30 days. That is work done by Y per day. Work done by Y per day. By Y per day. Which is also called efficiency of Y. That is given as, uh, that is 1 by 30. Okay. Now X is twice F as efficient as Y. So what is the efficiency of X? Efficiency of x is 2 times 1 by 30, which is equal to, uh, you can write like this, 2 times 1 by 30. Find the time taken by them to finish the task together. So, working together, their efficiencies are added, that is Ey plus Ex, which is equal to 1 by 30 plus 2 by 30. That can be written as 3 by 30 or 1 by 10. So, the time taken is the reciprocal of the efficiency which is 10. 10 days. This is the time taken. A, B and C can complete a piece of work in 10, 15 and 13 days respectively. If they all work together, how long will it take? So, first we will see the efficiency of A that is 1 by 10 efficiency of B will be 1 by 15 efficiency of C will be 1 by 30 so when they all work together their efficiencies get added EA plus EB plus EC which is equal to 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 30 so here the LCM will be 30 the 3 here it is 2 
plus 1 which is 6 by 30 or 1 by 5 this is the efficiency now what is the time taken time taken will be the reciprocal of efficiency which is 5 days Pipe A can fill a tank in 10 hours and pipe B can empty it in 15 hours. If they are both open together, find the time to fill the tank. So here pipe A can fill a tank in 10 hours. So efficiency of pipe A is 10, 1 by 10. Now pipe B can empty a tank in 15 hours. So efficiency of B. Since uh, filling is taken as positive efficiency and emptying a tank is taken as negative efficiency. So this will be minus 1 by 15. So when they are both open together, efficiencies will be Ea plus Eb. Okay, when they are open together, that is 1 by 10 minus 1 by 15. This is equal to LCM is 30. This is 3 minus 2, that is 1 by 30. So the time taken will be inverse that. Four men and six women can finish a work in eight days while three men and seven women can finish a work in ten days. Find the ratio of efficiency of man to a woman. Okay, first let the efficiency of man be M1. Efficiency of man B M and efficiency of women B efficiency of a woman B W. So four men and six women. Efficiency of four efficiency of four men and six women. Six women would be 4m plus 6w and that is equal to 1 by 8. Okay, since it is given as 8 days, efficiency is 1 by 8. Now, efficiency of 3 men and 7 women can be taken as 3m plus 7w, which is since 10 days is given, efficiency is 1 by 10. Now, Now these are two equations. We will solve this equation. Here cross multiplying we get 8 into 4m plus 6w equal to 1. Second 10 into 3m plus 7w equal to 1. Or this can be written as 32m plus 48w equal to 1. Second is 30m plus 70W equal to 1. Here uh, RHS is same. So LCM. Uh, so LHS can be equated. That is 32M plus 48W equal to 30M plus 70W. That is uh, 32 minus 32M minus 30M which is 2M. Here it is 70W minus 48W which is 22W. This is equal to uh, m equal to 11 w or m by w is equal to 11 by 1 ok rearranging we get m by w equal to 11 by 1 so the ratio of men is to women is 11 is to 1 this is the final answer a can do a work in 20 days. After working for 5 days, A leaves and B finishes the remaining work in 10 days. How many days would B take to do the whole work alone? So, A can do a work in 20 days. So, work done by A in 1 day would be. Work done by A in 1 day. Or which is also known as efficiency of A. Is 1 by 20. That is a reciprocal of time taken. Now, after he worked for 5 days and the, he leaves. So, work done by A in 5 days would be, in 1 day he do he does 1 by 20th of the work and in 5 days he will do 5 into 1 by 20th of the work. That is 1 by 4. Work done is 1 by 4. Now, B finishes the remaining work in 10 days. What is the remaining work? Remaining work. 
that is out of the total work 1 by 4 is uh, done by A and the remaining work is 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 of the work is remaining and it is done by B okay so B does the 3 by 4 of the work so he completes it in 10 days so in 10 days B does the remaining work in 10 days and he completes 3 by 4 of the work so in one day he will do that is 3 by 4 divided by 10 this much work in one day that is 3 by 40 this is the work done by B in one day or this is also called that efficiency of B is 3 by 40 now uh, how many days would B take to do the whole work alone that is in one day he completes uh, 3 by 40th of the work so uh, in uh, how many days he will uh, do the whole work that is time taken would be the reciprocal of this efficiency which is 40 by 3 days ok so the final answer is 40 by 3 days 40 by 3 or that is also equal to 13 1 by 3 days this is the final answer two workers A and B are engaged to do a work A working alone takes 8 hours more to complete the job than if both worked together B takes 4.5 hours more if both work together than if both work together find the time they take together so let the time they take together be T ok so time taken when both A and B worked together let it be taken as Okay, so what is the work done by both A and B in one day or uh, that is the efficiency, total efficiency is 1 by T. This is the work done by both A and B in one day or this total efficiency means efficiency of A plus efficiency of B. So this is the first equation. It is said that A working alone take 8 hours more to complete the job than if both work together. That is when A is working alone, working alone. It takes T plus 8 hours. Okay, 8 hours more. And when B is working alone, it takes 4.5 hours more than T. So, this is the time taken. Now, from this we can find efficiency of A as reciprocal of 1 by, uh, reciprocal of this one. That is T plus 8. 1 by T plus 8. And efficiency of B is 1 by T plus 4.5. Now, adding 2 and 3, we get this equation, total efficiency. That is 1 by t plus 8 plus 1 by t plus 4.5 is equal to 1 by t. Or, this is t plus 4.5 plus t plus 8 divided by t plus 8 into t plus 4.5 equal to 1 by t. Now the numerator becomes 2t plus 12.5. This is t plus 8 into t plus 4.5 equal to 1 by t. Okay. Now cross multiplying. We cross multiply that is t into 2t plus 12.5 equal to t plus 8 into t plus 4.5. This is 2t square plus 12.5t that is equal to t square plus 12.5t plus 36 now 12.5t got cancelled and this is t square equal to 36 or t equal to 6 hours so the time taken when bo they both work together that is t is 6 hours this is the final answer 15 machines can produce 300 items in 6 hours. How many items can 20 machines produce in 8 hours? So the concept used here is number of items is proportional to number of machines into time. Number of items is proportional to number of machines into time. So this can be written as items can be written as I, machine M and time can be written as T. That is I2 by I1 is equal to M2 T2 divided by M1 T1. So, I2 is to be found. How many items it can produce? That is, item is to be found I2. Then, item 1 is 300. 
now m2 that is machine says 20 into time 8 hours divided by here uh, m1 t1 is 15 machines and 6 hours 15 into 6 or i2 is equal to 20 into 8 divided by 15 into 6 into 300 and this is equal to 53 533.33 this is the final answer. Now try this question yourself and uh, give the answer in the comment section. If uh, 5 people can build 5 houses in 5 days, how many days does it take 100 people to build 100 houses? Thanks for watching. We will uh, see more questions in the next session. So please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.